New York is so huge and diverse that you could live here for four lifetimes and not see all the amazing things the city offers. Even figuring out where to begin your New York City trip is a terrible task. Whether you're a local realizing you still have to fully examine the city's parks and history, or an out-of-towner who doesn't know anything about the city, these essential stops will help you catch a glance of the city's beating heart. In this video, you'll be amazed by the top 10 things to do in New York. Before starting the video, subscribe to our channel and smash the bell icon to never miss any of our upcoming videos. Number 10. Blue Note Jazz Club Blue Note has been one of the top jazz clubs in New York and the world since the 1980s. It plays music every night at 8 p.m. and 10.30. On Friday and Saturday nights, it has a late night series at 12.30 a.m. showcasing emerging talent. If you're seeking a jazz taste in New York City, nothing can be better than this. Over the years, renowned musicians, including Sarah Vaughn, Dizzy Gillespie, and Ray Charles have performed on the Blue Note stage, as well as modern jazz acts such as Wynton Marsalis, Keith Jarrett, and Chris Boddy. Tables are private, closed set, and all ages, with the bar being 21 plus, but the setting calls for tolerance and maturity from kids and teens if you choose to bring them. Number 9. Smorgasburg Williamsburg All your friends may post pictures on social media of themselves drinking out of pineapples on vacation. Still, you could do the same thing here in New York, at Smorgasburg. The artisanal food market comprises 100 local vendors that engage thousands of people every weekend. It's open outdoors from April through October. Its indoor location has most recently operated at the Atlantic Center. Entry is free, but expect to pay up as you progress from stall to stall. Locals love it too for finding new chefs and restaurants. It's easy to navigate, but there will be lines. Number 8. Summit One Vanderbilt there's no shortage of jaw-dropping views throughout the city. Still, the team behind Summit One Vanderbilt has assembled many big names to bring together a full experience where you could easily spend some hours. It opens with the elevator, a light and sound-filled ride that whizzes visitors to the 91st floor. You're greeted by a massive mirrored room over New York City. In addition, there are rotating art installations from Kenzo Digital with two special features, levitation, a glass skybox that makes you feel as if you're floating 1,000 feet above Madison Avenue. And Ascent, a particular glass elevator that brings you up even higher to look over downtown Manhattan. Inside, a snow-headed design Nordic-inspired space provides food and drinks from Danny Meyer's Union Square events with pastrami stuffed pretzels and ricotta toast. There's also a wraparound outdoor terrace that feels like the city's most exciting rooftop bar. Number 7. Comedy Cellar None of the promoters on McDougal Street applauding stand-up comedy tonight are trying to get you inside the Comedy Cellar, where the show is already sold out. Famous stars like Jerry Seinfeld and Eddie Murphy made their names at the cellar. If you're lucky, one may show up when you're there. Seating is intimate and close, with a two-item minimum on food and drinks. It's 21 plus and vaccine mandatory. Get ready to give your phone at the door too. There's no evil seat in the house, but sit in the front only to convey playfully mocked by the host or a comic. Number six, Coney Island. Coney Island is a circus worthy tourist trap, which is truly what it is. But you may be amazed by the old timey charms of this beachfront American town. You'll be impressed by the food and drinks, Titano's Pizza, Gargiello's, and Coney Island Brewery. Locals and tourists walk on the beach, enjoy ice cream on the promenade, and stand in line for the famed Cyclone roller coaster. The beach, boardwalk, and spots like Nathan's are open year-round. The amusement park itself is seasonal. Number 5. Broadway for both locals and first-time visitors, seeing a Broadway show is a special experience and one that is visiting for the first time in New York City. Times Square is generally a drag, but when you're moseying into Midtown Manhattan for a show, the bright billboards and lights don't sparkle in your face, they dazzle in your eyes. A Broadway show's attire, sets, songs, and stories are a matter of dreams. And after going dull during the pandemic, Broadway is ready to return this fall. Number 4. The Metropolitan Museum of Art 
the Met has remained the ethnic epicenter of New York City for nearly a century and a half, thanks to forward-thinking exhibits and an extensive permanent collection. The building is a sight, with its gothic revival-style structure, iconic tiered steps, and Central Park location. But walk inside its great hall as a ceaseless parade of museum goers moves to and fro, and you'll feel the overwhelming sense of possibility and disclosure beyond. If you've got limited time or mates with limited attention spans, start with the Temple of Dendur, a 2,000-year-old soaring Egyptian temple, the only complete one in the Western Hemisphere. Number 3. Washington Square Park If people watching is your game, Washington Square Park is your spot. Entertainment is granted in this intimate, not quite 10-acre space, full of career chess players, musicians, strollers, performers, students, sunbathers, and general throngs of Greenwich villagers mad for a bit of fresh air. Take your time as you go through it. Pause beneath Washington Arch, honoring our country's first president, for whom the park is named, and remark on the laurel wreaths and intricate motifs that extend from the base to the keystones, atop which twin eagles perch like constant security guards. Washington Square Park is the heart of this vital New York neighborhood. Number 2. American Museum of Natural History Indeed one of the world's great natural history monuments, the American Museum of Natural History spans four city blocks across Central Park. All aspects of the natural world are displayed here, from a huge collection of taxidermy mammals to a representation of the life of Native American tribes to a complete hall dedicated to marine life with a life-size model of a blue whale. The crown is the dinosaur floor, with a noble Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton that prevails in the room. There are usually two particular exhibits at any time, containing shows like an in-depth, immersive exhibit dealing with human senses and understanding, and a deep dive into the world of mummies with examples of antique Egyptians and Peruvians preserved for thousands of years. Number 1. Museum of Modern Art, or MOMA Set in the mid of Midtown Manhattan, the affection of MOMA is illusory. It's a known quantity, with the crowds to prove it. In 2019, MOMA disclosed new galleries and performance spaces that give this always crowned museum more breathing room. The full permanent collection has been recurated for a brand new display that feels more modern and distinct. And the gift store is greater and better than ever for design nerds. When you arrive, make a byway for the fifth floor collection galleries so you can have a few priceless moments alone with Van Gogh's The Starry Night and Monet's Water Lilies. Which thing amazed you the most about New York? Let us know in the comments below. Hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.